So finally got the fenders on the bike. Uh, I had these on last year, these extra signal, some LED strips I put on the mirror. Again, just to help compensate for the drivers in my area that are, you know, pretty old or pretty high and they just don't see anything coming at them. So, anything to help out. And I also have, um, let's see here, some extra LEDs here below the main light to kind of, so that's on my high beam to kind of say, hey, you know, I'm coming, don't turn in front of me. There's a front fender, turned out pretty good. Took a few paint jobs to get it just right. Uh, I kept getting the uh, clear coat shrinking and crinkling on me. So I ended up using armor coat, black, or sorry, red, then black, and then for some reason, tram clad clear, or Rust-Oleum clear, uh, wouldn't crinkle. So that's what I ended up using for the front fender. And that's a regular fender, not off a of custom. So it's built for the smaller tire. This is 21 inch tire, so it just fits and gives you enough clearance, uh, you know, for any rocks that can go through there or what have you. But it's still down far enough, it should catch a lot of water, so it comes down fairly far. That's why I did the extra kind of cut at the bottom. I could have made a, a spade kind of uh, image, but, or sorry, shape. But I chose this one, it's nice and simple, and my friend did it for me on a plasma cutter. And then I uh, went through the carburetor and, and checked it okay, it's clean inside. And then to the back lights here, so here's those signal lights. Um, I just put them on a piece of angle iron, two inch angle iron. Uh, drill an extra hole in the bottom here so I could always use it for a bungee cord or some strap. Just a place to hold something on. Just want to strap something down in the rear of the seat. And just a simple one bolt. I make sure this is clean in this area here, so a good ground and the LED light. Doesn't require much power or a really good get ground and they work great. And then see them on the other side and then put my running light on my license plate. Yeah, right there. And uh, made this bracket out of the original bracket like it showed in the previous video. So it's just one bolt and it goes in behind the shock and then that'll hold it steady, no problem. And there's the wires, just power and ground. And then mounted my uh, side bag on. Uh, it originally came with these straps here. These, the side bag comes with these uh, Velcro straps. And I can get them on for life mate, tight or any which way I like it. So I just ended up using tie straps. You can see the bits cut off the end there. But it fits great, so just tie strap it to the, up here to the frame below the uh, fuse swap cover, and then up here right by the shock. Let's see, where is that one? Yeah, so right in behind, between the shock, this is the frame there. And the final one's down there to the swing arm. So it does have a bit of movement, but uh, not too bad. And then, um, so the brake light, this with the one LED, it's meant to be just a clearance light, but it's pretty bright for uh, just a single light. Let's see if I can get it to show here. The switch hands. There we go. I like the LED so it's kind of instant on and off, you kind of flash people a little bit or whatever, you know. Say, hey, idiot, I'm slowing down, you know, heads up. So that's about it. Uh, I screwed up on the wiring. So for the wiring, or actually for the seat, this is the original sports for seat and I've kind of cut most of the foam out of it. Where it's all rippled here, it's all a gel, gel pad. And in the back, I, it's the same length, but I trimmed the sides. I cut about an inch out of each side, so it's not as wide. So it gives it a bit thinner look. It's still a two up seat, but it's not as big. Uh, and you know, has a more sleek look to it. From the back with a bob fender. The bike, bike looks pretty narrow. It has the big tank on it still, but with a small side bag and uh, bob fender, you know, the back tire looks big and uh, doesn't look, you know, too bulky like a big uh, bagger or something like that. 
you know, makes it look a bit lighter and uh, more sporty like a Sportster should be. Uh, the reds don't totally match, like the red on the tank's a bit darker, except this one pinstripe here does match the rear fender pretty close. But that was just armor coat, red, I don't know, can't remember the name of the color, but whatever color you want. And same on the back, it was two layers of armor coat and then a clear coat of trim clad, and somehow it didn't crinkle. I tried to do them, uh, well, they're still pretty wet, so within an hour of spraying the base coat, I put the clear coat on and it didn't crinkle. That's uh, so about my third attempt. So let's take the seat off here. See, it's all been restapled and then I put uh, just some duct tape down to cover up the staple heads because for sure they'll come down and scratch to the fender up even more. But one thing I did was, so there's the original harness and then I bought that harness off eBay, the male end. It runs through here under the frame, pops out through the frame here and then in behind the shock and then under the frame and I tied it back to save as much length as I could and then ran my uh, signal uh, brake light to there but then one problem, well one kind of knock against it is I ran the, from this point here I ran the running light back to the license plate so it's kind of like one wire going the whole way through the swing arm so that kind of has to go from there up through the frame and then back and what I should have done is at this point here I should have pulled the wire out of the harness and ran it to the uh, right signal. But instead it runs here and then goes to a single wire runs back through the loop back to the right. It's no big deal but next time I would do it differently and have it a bit more cleaner. But the good thing about this project is this is uh, say 8 bucks, 8 bucks, 10 bucks and the fenders were 40 with a um, air cleaner lid. Uh, the seat stock came on it, so really for $100, $100, I bobbed it and redid the lights, uh, license plate holder, all that stuff. So I could go out and buy a new Harley Nightster or a bike that's already set up like this, but kind of a bit of a challenge and wanted to purposely do it with stuff I had around the shop and uh, kind of get it done the way I want it, you know without just going out and buying a whole bunch of bill aluminum parts and bolting them all on. Okay, so have a great day. Um, hope you all ride safely and make sure you uh, always check your lights before that you ride, make sure none are burnt out or have some wiring problems like I'm probably gonna have. Okay, have a great day, bye-bye. I shall also mention that I had a, the original fender guard that fits down in that area and protects uh, your electronics against rocks and debris and water. So I was going to fit that in, but since I lowered the fender down with this spacer to kind of get the seat a bit lower and lower the whole back end, I just ended up using a piece of rubber. I don't know, you see it right in there. It's just like on a rally car mud flap type thing, just some flexible rubber and just shoved it down. I uh, tied it into the top. Oh, she can see it on top right here. There's the top of it there. And this draped it down, and so it'll catch all the rocks and water and stuff that go get thrown in from the rear tire. And so here's those paints I used uh, Armor Coat. It's like the cheapest paint you can buy, pretty much. Uh, black, red. Uh, I don't know, has the color name on it. But anyway, those two paints and then a trim clad clear used within an hour uh, didn't crinkle. It was kind of hard with two colors, so we had to let one dry and then tape it and then paint the second color. So, uh, but, but my time is spent painting the second color it was basically still a bit tacky, and then the gloss went on. The trim clad trim clad gloss went on and didn't crinkle. I tried other stuff polyurethane and uh, the trim clad black would always crinkle with the trim clad clear but the armor coat black would not which doesn't make sense but that's just the way it worked. Uh, another thing I, it was nice and sunny outside so I 
as soon as I put the clear on, I put them in the sun to get rid of the, all the solvents as fast as possible. So, kind of gave them a quick, you know, 10 minute bake in the sun and you can smell the solvents coming off and it didn't uh, crinkle and shrink up and, you know, get that horrible look where they sanded it all off and uh, repainted all over again.